Hello everyone, Serenity Frost here, and I have a new game for you guys. You remember in my busy town a Let's Play, if you bothered to watch it, which I don't blame you if you didn't, despite its claimed being the most fun game in the world, probably not the most fun to watch. Fortunately, I have not upped my game with this next choice, but if you were paying a modicum of attention at the very beginning, you might have noticed that I said I wanted to do a Lenny's Music Tunes Let's Play. But, my CD was damaged, and I couldn't get it to work. Well, over the holidays, I got a little extra funds, and so I decided why the hell not. I went on Amazon, I got a new Lenny's Music Tune CD for like two bucks. And, after about two weeks of having the CD, I finally managed to get it to work. See, Lenny's Music and Tunes was made for Windows 3.1, which makes it incredibly difficult for anyone to install it and play it. Um, which, oddly enough, for a game that was made with the three Windows 3.1 label on it, it works surprisingly better in Windows 2000, which I managed to get a virtual PC of in order to play the game. You can see it right here. See? So we are going to start up Windows 2000 with our beautiful virtual PC console, which, by the way, you can get online for free from the Microsoft website. I'm not going to provide a tutorial on how to install Windows 2000. Uh, it's a virtual hard disk, and, well, it's a bit of a hassle, and I'm not good at that kind of tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm usually following other tutorials on the internet, so instead of reading one out loud verbatim, just look on Google, fun for yourself. Once you get Windows 2000 installed, or if you have a machine that has Windows 2000 on it, you might. Some people still have them. You can basically run Lenny's Music and Tunes without a hitch. Lenny's Music and Tunes also works on Windows 95 and 98, but the playback for the MIDI does a weird echoey thing. I know this because originally I planned on using my Windows 95, which I already actually had it installed on the system for a different game. Uh, but it did the whole MIDI thing, and I was not happy with that kind of result, so I decided to go out and find a copy, a copy of Windows 2000 just for you guys. Which I managed to luckily do for free. Just took a little digging around. And put it on here. Ah... Uh. How many of you remember that sound? Now you might notice that uh, for Windows 2000, this looks kind of bad. That's because I have it set to 256 colors, 645, 480. This is the setting that the game requires that you be on in order for it to run properly. If I up the setting, I could still run the game, but the graphics would glitch up and it just wouldn't work out right. So. Let's start up Lenny's Music Tunes, shall we? By the way, if you do have a virtual PC and you want to play this game, all you have to do is use the physical drive D and just, you know, play it. Music Pen Productions, Lenny's Music Tunes, da 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 Multimedia PC. Yay! As you can see, it's copyright Music Pen Incorporated, 1993. You're probably already wondering by now, Serenity. What kind of weird game are you having us watch you play? Well, probably quite possibly the most fun game in the world. Despite what Busy Town said, Lenny's Music and Tunes is fantastic fun. If you can get your hands on it and get a means to play it, I highly suggest it. But since most of you probably won't be able to, I'm going to try and do every possible thing that I can in this game so you can see everything this game has to offer you. With the exception of playing all of the songs. 
there are lots and lots of public domain songs on this game. And if I were to go through all of them, this Let's Play would last for days. So, to kind of save face and posterity and whatever other word that I can't think of that I was trying to replace with the words I just used. Yeah. Here is Lenny's music and tunes. Everything in this room does something. Not all of it's music related. Uh, right here, if you click on this, he'll eat a snack. He only burps the one time. You can feed him everything on this tray, but once the tray is empty, nothing happens. So I'm not going to bother showing you all of that. I don't know what Lenny's pet's fish, his name is. I don't really know anything about this particular character. He doesn't actually have uh, a TV show based on him, at least not one that I'm aware of. I think he was made specially for this game. We get to see Lenny's life. Little baby Lenny. Elder Lenny learning the piano. Or a ghost piano. Lenny graduated from high school, I would assume. And that's it. His life ends after high school. Unless he's graduating from college. Uh, now, from what I can tell of Lenny's job, he owns the theater, which is actually right outside. And I'll show it to you in just a moment. First, we have to feed the fish. With a kamikaze fly. <laughs> Let's go outside. Yeah, a little bit of sound lag here and there. Not a whole lot I can do about that. It's the hardware acceleration. But we are in anthropomorphic New York, as you can see. And I'm going to turn that down slightly. Because uh, it's one in the morning, and I'm trying to be courteous to the other people who live here. There's not a whole lot you can actually do outside. Um, you can click on the people, and they'll go into the theater. You can click on the stoplight to make the lights go, but you can't make anyone crash. I've tried. See? And if you click here, you get a scrolling information of New York. New York City is the home of the famous Broadway musical theaters where shows like Cole Porter, Roger and Hammerstein, and Andrew Lloyd, Andrew Lloyd Webber play year-round. Some of the finest theater productions have been presented here. New York City has more kinds of music going on all the time than any other city in the world. Young musicians come from all over the world to seek their fortunes in New York. From jazz to opera, from Broadway to rock and roll, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. The Metropolitan Opera at Lincoln Center is New York City is America's only full-time opera company. New York is a melting pot of music of many nations. In Manhattan alone, you can find the music of India, of India, Jamaica, Pakistan, Trinidad, Bulgaria, Russia, and many others. America has been the birthplace of blues, jazz, gospel, and rock and roll. New York is the home of the famous Broadway musical th uh, theaters here where and it repeats itself. And as we can see, now playing Peter and the Finn in the Stink Band. Lenny's Theater, which is what led me to believe that this was his theater. If we click on Music Pin, we get the credits for Music Pin's creative team. And we'll just kind of sit through that for a minute. Ah. Uh, they had a thing for penguins, can you tell? Can't tell if I've actually repeated myself. I think we have. It's a very short credits list. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, oh god, someone's throwing out musical books. Just left and right. They keep throwing them out every time I click on this window. All right, let's go back inside. And I'm going to leave that door open, because when we futz with the bird, he can actually fly out the door. Uh, let's see... Did I click on the fish already? I think I did. I've actually gone through several playthroughs of this game trying to get it to work properly, so I uh, probably will forget things that I've done and what I haven't done already. Let's turn that back up again. Oh yeah. Hear that docile to you. Feel the smooth groove of the dancing boombox. 
Can open this. And Lenny has a very suggestive uh, slinky penguin poster. And this weird thing that's like hiding around in his house for some reason. Let's see. Oh, one of my favorite things to do. It appears Lenny's grandpa was a confederate. <laughs> and he likes to haunt people through photographs. We can turn the lights off, but then we can't interact with anything in the room. We can move Lenny's bird around. And he'll play with the water. I think he, there should be one. There we go. I knew there was one other thing that he did. Put him on the food, and he isn't a fan. Put him on the couch, but he doesn't really do anything. Other than this, he'll just sort of land on stuff when you click him on it. Uh, it but only, like, a few things. Uh, I think if you click anywhere around here, he'll just fly back to his perch. and You can't do anything until he lands, so I'm not going to bother making him fly across the room. And... <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is mess with this bear. If you put him in front of stuff that opens, he'll actually move out of the way. Nice polite bear. So that Lenny can go inside. But you can't guess what this room does. Hmm. <laughs> I swear to God, whoever thought of the awesome face got it from Lenny. Now, you can also move the bear around. Uh, he doesn't do much. He'll just kind of lay back down. If you put him in the exact right spot in the middle of the room, he does a somersault. Or a flip. But that's it. That's really all he does. I just like sitting in front of this door for like hours and just keep making him get up and, and move. I'm, I'm, I'm easily enter entertained. Let's watch TV. PTV. That uh, Lenny is also an MC on. Lenny does a lot of things in this game. I'm not half. Ah, the news. I'll finish my thought in a minute. Mm, we're getting a bit laggy. Michael Penguin sprains his ankle while doing the moonwalk. Michael Penguin. Bell bottoms are in. <laughs> Just in. A new national anthem in the United States. The Penguin. <laughs> I get a kick that everything else in the newscast. He's landed in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Makes Lenny cry. Except about the news for the bell bottoms. Bell bottoms and taxes make him angry. <laughs> in fashion, bell bottoms are in. Star Michael Penguin yeah. sprains his. Never heard of it. Lenny is not amused. <laughs> oh, shopping network. Let's order something. Woo! In case you're wondering, uh, that woman was saying, Oh yes, receive it now or receive it by the end of the night. I played the game enough as a kid to, to figure out what it was. By the way, Lenny Penguin has the best delivery service ever. But I'm fairly convinced that's because Lenny is the friggin' dawn of anthropomorphic New York. And it had a little toy. A cracker in it. If you order again, you get the monkey with the symbols, but those are the only two items you get. So. It's the all commercial channel. Which is apparently hilarious. Bad breath. 
Hello there. Okay, that one was kind of funny. And then he goes on a loop from there. And this one's also on a loop. That's all that happens. Another one that's on a loop. That's all that happens. And then we're back to PTV. Let's turn the TV off. And, okay, so I think I've shown you everything that you can do in the living room. All that's left is the games. Yo, what's up? This is Lenny Yavide on PTV, where you're living large and in charge because you call the shot. In Toon Jam, you can pretend to be a big shot video director. First, build your own music track by rearranging the block. Then choose your favorite homeboy and homegirl to star in your big production. Throw in some special effects and you're good to go. So let's get busy! Yeah, I don't know if Toon Jam was actually meant to be... I think it was It's supposed to have a little bit more to it than what it does. From the intro, it seems like it should have had like three things to maybe pick from. Uh, also, it kind of... Well, it's the only part in the entire game where Lenny talks. And for me, that takes away from it. Because he seems a lot less dignified in this one game than he does in anything else that he does in the game. Which is actually kind of cool. Alright, let's... Uh, Gonna save Techno for last because I want it to be the thing that all of these opening acts are opening for. And you'll see why in a minute. Let's start with Rock and Roll. Uh, you can actually preview them by clicking on the musical notes. I don't want to spoil the fun. And by spoil the fun, I mean I'm gonna be placing these at random. And you'll get to hear them play while I build the set for our final act. Well, Actually, let me put a couple of stars on here first. Let's put an opening acts in here. Let's start with the MC Oreo and his uh, guitar, guitar backup dancers. All right, play. That's uh, the rock and roll business done. Let's go to hip hop next. <laughs> Actually, I'm caught in a kind of amusing pose there. Which one have I not used yet? Four? There we go. And our next star, let's pick this guy. He looks kind of hip hoppy. And let's give him the Madonna backup penguin dancers. Go!
And you can put props in here too. But uh, I don't want to ruin the set. Thing. But I'll show you what all the props are. They don't really contribute much to the actual setup. Oh, we can stop. Pop. Again, I do not have any discernible order in which I'm putting these. I'm just trying to make sure that I at least pick one of each so that they can all be heard. Uh, yeah, because we've only got the one, the three, but we're kind of outnumbered, so... Oh, wait, I haven't done... What's her face? So, we'll do her. And these backup dancers that match her. Go! I think I'm running out of props. Yep, that's all the props. Because they're outnumbered, let's toss in, I think, one that you haven't seen yet. These guys? So you can see them, too. Oh dear, it starts from the beginning. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Um. Now what the heck, we'll just wait through it. I'll raise up the tempo. You <laughs> know, we get to where we left off. I gotta go! Dance, woman, dance! All she needs now is a, is a chair and a bucket of water. And the cliche will be complete. There we go. Well, that's kind of a jarring change. one my absolute favorite to play with Let's see if I can remember the good order here I used to mess with this one a lot I do believe those are the two that I want where they're at and I think that's one of them one two three four five six seven eight yes awesome and we're going to get mr. McCool and his backup penguins. Hell yeah. By the way, quick warning. If any of you guys are prone to seizures, you may want to skip this part. Mr. McCool's laser light show, baby. Oh, yes.
Hi, guys. All right, back to Lenny's moving room. That is actually the most freeform game that's in here. The rest of these actually have some sort of goal. It, well, no, that's not true. The theater also has absolutely no goal other than to make music. Also, you heard clicking in the background. That was my speakers being too close to my cell phone. Sorry about that. Lenny, tonight. Lenny and his buddies. Because it's Lenny's theater. He can be whatever the hell he wants. Alright. Each of these stars has a different sort of music they play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one down here. And you'll get to hear the kind of small loop that it does. And then I'll uh, pick one that I like. Hmm. Slow that tempo down. The acceleration's making it a bit choppy. You can get the symbols of what he's trying to play, though. if we'll be spending a lot of time on this particular game. Because the music is being very choppy in here. Guess what the chicken plays. There's probably somewhere on YouTube you can go that'll have these in like an audio CD or something so you can hear them proper. He seems to be the least buggy so far. Oh, I dig this one. Is that monkey high? Why are his eyes doing that? Anyway. Really? Of all the fairly original music, we have the- Wait a minute, wasn't he supposed to be pink? Um, yeah. Anyway.
Ooh, French. Bit piratey, actually. Make this a yar pirate in tune. Alright. The thing with the co stars, they all have one song that matches the star. So there's really no point in like going through each of their things. So basically, we're just gonna kind of wait and look and see all their little dances and stuff, and that's gonna be it. See? It's quite high pitched, is it not? I kind of like that bow. <laughs> Trying to make that less annoying for you guys. <laughs> Scuba diver. All right. Since we're going with the sea shanty, we're going to go with the piratey turtle. Let's see... The torches. Nice. Very mellow. That's pretty mellow too. I love the anthropomorphic instruments that play themselves. Kind of makes you wonder if that uh, accordion there, I forgot the name of it for a minute, can play itself too if it was strapped around the turtle. In fact, this dude kind of looks like that guy is into something kind of funky. It's just going to stay right over here. I already clicked on the dinos. Oh, that sounds different. Huh. But I think for the theme that I'm going for, I'm gonna want the fi the uh, fiber tones. Rhythm. Now, we don't get a uh, name for these. They all have a different rhythm to them. Uh, but we don't get to see who they are until we click on them. <laughs> um, are we repeating? It was it wasn't uneven or something? I don't 
I don't understand. I could have sworn. Huh. Uh, anyway. I think that guy's gonna have the, the sound that I'm looking for. Let's go for a setting. We've got Dar Jungle. Center stage. Tessites. Beautiful garden. Haunted house. Space! Snow! Inside a computer? Under Tay Oceans! And that's it. We're gonna stick with another to the ocean, I think. Maybe. That or the tropical one. I don't know. We're gonna be pirates, R. Uh, there's not a really an on the boat in the ocean to pick from. Mm, I think the bubbles will complement our sound more. Now for props. These props do about as much as the last props and that it's nothing. Can actually move people around. Oh, oh, it doesn't stay on his face? Really? Pops right behind him. Well, what's the point of the prop, then? If it doesn't stay on their face. Let's put him back in the bubble so he can breathe. But here's our props. Alright. Now for the fun part. Lenny? Bit of a hot mess, but eh, it's pretty grooving. Ah, now that sounds pretty good. Nice. All right, let's go back to the town, uh, to the living room. Now, the games after this have a goal to them in mind. I do believe there's two left yeah nope three there's three three of them left uh let's do this one this is a card matching game uh you can't lose at it so you pretty much just plug at it away at it until you get all of the fruit to go away or whatever we pick on so i'm going to do each of these as quickly as possible so you can see the picture behind them If I have to, I will use the fast forward option in Camtasia so you don't have to watch me go through this. I'm not good at matching games. I don't remember too well what we, I just looked at. Some of you will be screaming at me several times where one is. Although, you know, as if I could hear you. Also, doesn't this look a little suspicious? Kind of a naked... Lenny with the scroll making childish giggles going uh-oh in a really high-pitched voice. It's just, it's just kind of weird. They're not nearly as weird as one of the other games. I think I'll save it for last because it's so bizarre. It's entertaining. Yeah, there's no time limit. You can't really lose or anything. You just keep going until you match everything. Oh 
man. I do believe our man Lenny just got uh, accosted. How did he end up in the dryer? Oh god, did his socks put him there? Holy bejesus. Next. It be a farm in Lenny. <laughs> now I'm gonna skip the fruit because it's the most bizarre. We're gonna do that one last. Uh -oh. Not to say the vegetables aren't a little bizarre. It's freaking me out, man. <laughs> it's covered in eyes. So many eyes. <laughs> Watch out, Lenny. They be stealing your veggies. On a loop, Liddy. On a loop. Just turn around. Catch them once. They're gonna keep doing it until I stop them. Music. Again, instruments that can play themselves. Why do we need musicians in this game again? The instruments can clearly take care of it. Alright, save the best for last, guys. Just wait for this one. Now, you guys might be thinking, this one isn't too weird. It's just a penguin dressed as a Chiquita banana dancer. I mean, it's not that odd. Right up until this last bit. When this card goes away, and you realize, holy crap, it's Lenny. Lenny, dressed as a woman, dancing with fruit, covered in eyes. Yeah. Starting to question that poster we found in Lenny's room now, aren't we? Alright. This is quite possibly the most fun of the games. It just It's just the most fun. There's absolutely nothing else to say about it. I'm not going to go through all of the levels because it would take forever. I'm just going to go through each one of the difficulty, or each one of the worlds, basically, so you can see what they all look like. So I'm basically going to play this about three times. We're going to start with Toyland. Rank Private. Mission Defend Toyland from five enemy attackers. Which look like that. Move Target Finder over enemy attackers. Fire. Gumballs by decoding pitch on radar screen and striking appropriate key on keyboard. Be careful and good luck. Music Command Central. Alright. So basically what this game teaches you is in what order these uh, letters come in the game, in music. C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. It's actually quite ingenious in trying to get you to instinctively know which key it is. Fortunately, since we're not playing with an actual keyboard, it loses a bit of its touch. Yeah. 
Ha-ha! Stop getting behind the tree! Yeah. On the first level, it actually tells you which one it is if it takes you too long. It's war, I tell ya! War! Done! Can't see me, but I'm dancing. Put up that flag, then. We earned it. Timer of 58 seconds. A total score of 2007. This is probably the best I'm gonna do the whole game. Oh, yeah! Alright, that's enough of that. Next area. Once Lenny gets his promotion from private to corporal. So Lenny's had a pretty colorful life so far. We've seen that he's been a farmer, he owns a music theater, and he was in the army. Where he shot things from different planets. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Let's uh, go back to the world selection. I didn't want to start the next mission because I wanted to show you what all the worlds look like. Mars! Rank Corporal. Yeah, I'm not going to read this again. It just says the same thing. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. He still can't land properly. I don't think he ever learns how to land properly, even if you made it to the top rank. EFG B Oh, I need to show you guys what happens. If you miss, you'll probably get to see it in the next level, so. Yeah, we're gonna skip the party today, too. Corporal Lenny, sir! You've been promoted to Sergeant! Sergeant Lenny. Now we're going to defend Metopolis from biplanes. Start! That landing's never smooth for you, is it, Sergeant Lenny? Yeah, so you might have noticed that it's got a uh, pound sign next to it, or a hash sign for the others of you in the UK. That's because we're playing with the black ones instead of the white ones now. Let's uh, turn down the sounds of war, shall we? Or does it need to be quite so loud? Yep, we're on one. I only got one more. I'm running out of buildings, guys! And time! Woo! War is harsh, man. 
score is harsh. All right, I gotta show you what happens when you lose. So we're gonna go to Toyland and just let it get blown to hell. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll be a first lieutenant by then. Hopefully we'll get kicked out of the army. As you can see, they destroy it by throwing pies at it. Oh, actually, I think they're throwing eggs. Still, eggs? Really? Actually, the eggs seem to be pretty super effective. No! Not the cupcake house! That was my favorite! I do believe that's all of the buildings. We have effectively leveled Toyland. <laughs> Enemies victorious. Toyland has sustained heavy damages. You shall receive no promotion for you. Retreat. And we'll go back to Lenny's living room. For the last and quite possibly the oddest of the games. Now again, there's so much music to pick from in this particular level that I'm just going to go through each of the difficulties. Yeah. So let's start with beginner in uh, Kitty Sleep. Why not? And like much with the rest of the game, uh, these areas all have different things that they do. Like, at this beginning one where it's all wintry, if you click on stuff, it does stuff. <laughs> I don't know what that chipmunk's doing, but he sounds kind of malicious about it. Let's play the song. Okay, and let's start the puzzle. This is actually a jigsaw puzzle. No. I don't know what the gorilla's about. I don't know how the cat ran through the air. I don't know why the gorilla's gonna do with the cat what he's going to do when he gets it, which I will show you after I get through the levels. I just don't know.
As you can see, the easy level's pretty easy. Uh, between the shapes and the tune, you can generally figure out where things need to go. Yep. And once we finish the puzzle, we're done. Lenny goes and gets his kitty. On his farm. It apparently has a gorilla on it. Would you see what I mean? He looks so classy and cool when he has no lines. But then that one game where he was a freaking DJ, it just ruined it. I don't know why Santa's there. He doesn't do anything when you click on him. Uh, uh, by the way, if you clicked on Lenny, he would have made a penguin noise. And that gives you the title. Let's go back to the room, shall we? And you can actually do things in this room too. I didn't want to futz with it before because there's something that's really funny that would have totally given away the secret had I clicked on it. I'll be clicking on that last. That just resets the music. Let's light some candles and do a little peeking. I don't know why we can see into the gorilla's house from our painting. Maybe that's why he keeps trying to abduct our cat. Oh god. The gorilla's only out for our pussy. I apologize deeply to everyone involved who just heard me say that. And if you didn't get the joke, because you're, you know, you're just lucky. I, sure, apples to parts and why not? <laughs> yeah, that squirrel's still here too. Yep, there he is. I love that squirrel. I want to see him again. Gonna have to get me a recording of that sound. Make it my ringtone. Anyway. If you notice when Lenny saved the cat, he went into this knot hole. You can actually keep up with uh, how many kitties you saved by looking in the knot hole, which is pretty cool. All right, let's play the song. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care, don't care when I crack corn. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Jimmy Crack Corn and right there. And I don't care Cause Jimmy don't care when I crack corn Yep, wrong one and If you miss it, it um The gorilla goes up a bit on the tree You actually have quite a bit of leeway in this game As far as the gorilla He doesn't, you know, just shoot up the tree unless you miss a lot Here we go. We've saved Take Kitties. Alright, in this next one, I'm actually going to purposefully lose. So you can see what happens to the cat when the gorilla gets him. It's, it's mildly entertaining, actually. to the music room.
Can he see the ghost? Quite possibly the nicest of the weird things that happen. And the turkey pecks around but doesn't really do anything. Let's see the squirrel again! Chipmunk! Yee! And the dog's probably still there too. Alright, start the puzzle! I totally didn't play it first, but uh... Oh well. And, by the way, if you click on Lenny... Yep. No, that's not what I wanted. I guess he doesn't do anything when you click on him. Alright. Oh my! Could he be worried? Oh no! Gorilla God Kitty! Ah. <laughs> and that's it. He, he tossed him into this thing. And Lenny composes himself and rides back home in the fire truck. Again, Lenny's the friggin' Dawn! And we don't get a triumphant play of the song either. But. You get to see Easy Kitty in the cage down here. I don't know how he fell into the cage, but he did. Let's restart the puzzle. Because I want to hear that triumphant music. Yeah, you can make the kitty uh, put it back up there when you can't find where it goes. Alright. That, my friends, is pretty much all that Lenny's Music Tunes has in it. Uh, except for, you know, leaving when you exit the game in the taxi. But that's not really all that interesting. So, play us out, Lenny! I said play us out, Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Guess we have to go back to the room first. Anyway, thanks for sitting in this long for watching me play Lenny's Music Tunes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you to actually go through the trouble of getting the game and getting it installed. It, it really is fun to play. Um, if enough people want to see it, uh, maybe one day I'll do a live stream of playing the game and you guys can kind of tell me what all you want me to click on and what songs you want to hear and all that fun stuff. So again, thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, this will inspire you to at least invest in the game a little bit. I can't say that enough. It really is so much fun, and it does teach you a little bit about music. The, a little bit about music. Oh, by the way, this uh, little thing right here, music pen, yeah, doesn't do anything. Just in case you were wondering the whole time. So yeah, again, uh, <laughs> oh wait, one more thing I forgot. Anyway, that's it. I close the lines. So again, thanks for watching. And hopefully my next Let's Play will be 
entertaining, I suppose. See you around.